So we have a new beta available for Android 15. If you're a user of Pixel device, any of the Pixel device or basically Pixel 6 or later, you got the new update of Android 15, which is QPR2 Beta 3. QPR2, which basically means it will give you the stable update next month. So the features or the changes I'm showing you in this one uh, will be available in the, in the stable stage in the next month. But for now, if you use beta versions, some of the changes, like first of all, we have the keyboard change. And that is one of my favorite features. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If you're able to notice, we do not have the language switcher available at the bottom because we do not have any multiple languages available. So just for an example, I just added another language in this in this case. And at the bottom right, you are able to notice we have the language switcher available. By one clicking, I can simply switch between languages. This is already enabled by default. If you are using any of the Android 15 versions, previous versions and something like that. But with this new update, which is another beta version available in QPR stage right now, you have this option available as an option in simple words. If you do not have any multiple languages available, for example, if I disable or if I delete this language, for example, I have only one language, then you do not have the language switcher anymore, enabled anymore. Personally speaking, quite underrated, but that is so useful. And yes, in my personal opinion, this is a very, very good change. Another one is if you move on to screen timeout settings, we have adaptive timeout option available once again, because this is a not, this is not a new thing. It's available from some time. Some of the updates brings you this feature. Some of the updates actually does not brings you the, this feature, but this is available in this new update. So just wanted to let you know, if you're a pixel device user, you need to know these kind of options. Another thing which is present in this update, we have the clock, new clock widget available that will be available in the stable stage next month. And for now, if you use beta versions, we have this timer, uh, timer clock widget available. Previously, this was not there in the clock app or in the widget section, you always noticed approximately five clock widgets available. But in this case, with this new update, we have the six widgets option available. So you can simply, you have all this, these options available. So for example, if I choose this, I can enable any other timer option by clicking here. You have another timer by clicking somewhere else. You have other timers. So this is basically a widget. Could be handy for some of the users if you use timers a lot. If you do not, then this is something okay or basically nothing to talk about. But if you use timers, then this could be actually a useful thing for all the, all for the users who use timers on their devices. Nothing much to talk about it much or basically anything else. Other than else, because we do not have any other changes, any other visual changes with this new update, because this is another beta, but you have some previous updates available, some of the previous changes. Like one of them is mods. As far as I know, it is already available in the stable stage now, finally, which is a good thing. Uh, but yes, it was also introdu introduced with the previous betas of Android 15. So yes, this mods option might be useful for some of you and for some of you, it might not be. So you can simply enable a custom mode where you have your custom settings. Uh, it is actually similar to the focus mode available in iOS devices or basically an iPhone. If you have used iOS, then you might already know about the focus mode. If you did not, then it's completely okay, but it is just similar to focus mode. Everything else is just similar in this case. You have a lot of customizations available. You can choose your custom mode, custom icon, and a lot more extra things in this case. Including this one, let me show you one more thing, which actually, I mean, in, in my personal opinion, is uh, something really good. If you move on to system options, developer settings, and the, at the just uh, uh, by just scrolling down a bit, you will find this Linux or Linux terminal on Android. It was introduced with the previous update and I made a video already on the previous update in case you don't know. So you finally have this Linux terminal available. You just have to enable it from the developer settings and you will be able to use this thing on your device. This could be something really amazing. If you love to use Linux on a device, then it's finally, in finally enabled and it will be rolled out in the stable stage next month also. You have this, this notification available. Other than else, everything else is just similar. One thing which is quite underrated, if you move on to search settings in the Google Pixel Launcher, now you have the option to customize your search. So you have the option, some of the things which you don't want to show up in the search results, this is really amazing. This is actually really amazing. For example, I don't want to, I don't want to show up my contacts. So I always use this thing to simply disable this thing. So yes, these were things just wanted to let you know. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to drop a like. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.